Hey guys, TechMinch here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're getting location not available or you're not able to send or see your location of your friend on your iPhone. Now, there's multiple reasons why this error may be appearing for you, but you can hopefully resolve it by the end of this video by going through this troubleshooting step. So let's dive right into it. So first thing is whenever you're having this issue of location not available, I generally like to start by turning on my airplane mode for a brief moment and then turning it back off. And what we do with that is a quick network refresh. So if there's any issues with the connectivity of your iPhone, not being able to discover your location or see location, it will hopefully resolve it. And as simple as that, it could be fixing your issue. Now, let's say you're still having the issue. The next thing you might want to do is that if you're having issues on your, for example, your messages, I recommend is opening up messages, sliding it up like that, and go ahead and close out the messages app like that, doing a force quit and then opening it up, up back again and see if you can send your location now or see the location. And you might want to do the same thing for Find My App as well. Now after you have done that and you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to do to resolve the issue is go ahead and do a force restart of your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart on your iPhone, you got to do volume up, volume down one after another and then hold the side button just like that. You want to make sure you press volume up and then release it and then volume down and release it one after another really quick and then hold the side button just like I am right now. You're not going to slide to power off. You can just keep on holding that side button as you can you see. Then once the Apple logo reappears, I let go of that button. And what we essentially have done is completely shut down the phone and then let the phone reboot again, but this time reloading the code, which is different from just a normal sh turn off and all on, which this one will resolve any software related issue. And one of the very first thing you wanna do when you're having any software related issue on your iPhone. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you can wanna do is go in your settings of your iPhone, click on your Apple account ID, and then under find my here, what you will wanna do this time is ensure that share my location is on. So I recommend is, Turn it off briefly, and for this one, you'll need to probably connect to the internet here, so I'm gonna go ahead, and make sure I'm connected to the internet, Wi-Fi here, or cellular data. So I'm connected, and then again, click on your Apple account here. Under Find My here, you're gonna to wanna to turn it off, share my location, and turn it back on, just to toggle and on and off, so if that this one was off or was having issue, it will resolve that issue, but make sure share my location is turned on. Now, after you have done that, also the next thing you want to do in your settings here, into the main settings here, under your privacy and security, you want to click on that. Ensure under location services, your location services on just like that. And that's going to be important as well. And then share my location, you want the same thing exactly here. You want to make sure that share my location is turned on for your iPhone, which allow you to do that. And under Find My, you also want to turn Find My iPhone as well on the network here, just in case, you know, you're still not able to see that. So important that you do all that stuff to be able to uh, be having your location on. Now, let's say after you have done that and you're still having issue, the next thing you want to check in your settings is under settings general, and then you want to go to date and time. And then you want to ensure that by default, your date and time is correct to your local time. So if you're traveling or something, sometimes that locate uh, based on your location, the time will update. But if it doesn't, I recommend turning off set automatically and adjusting it manually. But most recommended is that you keep it turned on automatically. But besides all of that, the key thing here is that the time zone that you're in, whatever the local time is, matches exactly that time on your iPhone because if it's off, it's not going to be able to give the right location on your iPhone. So now after you have done that, the next thing you want to do under your settings is go to general here and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone. You want to click on that and then click on reset here and there's a reset option for location and privacy. So you want to click on that and then you'll enter your phone's passcode and generally you want to do that and it will reset all of your location setting just like that. Now this will not delete any of your personal data. It will just quickly delete any configuration settings along location and privacy that could interfere with you not being able to see your location. And after you have done that and you're still not having issues with your location services, the next thing you want to do in your settings is go check out under settings 
you want to go to general and then software update and see if there's a software update available and if there is a software update available you're going to see it checking for update you make sure you're connected to a good wi-fi or cellular data and if you see an update available i recommend you download and install the update now generally you want to give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for any software update make sure you're connected to a good strong internet connection with your wi-fi or cellular data and your phone is at least 50 percent or more are charged or plugged into your charger but go ahead and update your phone because sometimes what happens is an update from a previous one could have uh, broken or caused some issues bug glitches and you always want to make sure your phone is up to date to resolve that issue and that's it for all the troubleshooting steps you'll need to hopefully resolve your location service is now working in location is available on your iphone and i hope this video was helpful if so please make the like and subscribe button also if you found a better way to fix that issue as well leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching guys see you guys next time